right, today we're going to learn about probability with dice and spinners. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to use fractions, probability words like certain, likely, equally likely, unlikely, and impossible. And we're also going to talk about something called outcomes. Outcomes are the number of possibilities that could happen. So let's take a look at the dice first. All right, so a standard die like this, sometimes they're called number cubes on probability questions or probability worksheets. Um, number cube, die, dice, it's all the same thing. Um, so our first question is, what's the probability of rolling on a three? Well, how many threes on this die? There are only one three. There's only one three. Um, so I have one three out of six numbers, so a one six chance. One isn't very close to six, so we say it is unlikely that we would roll a three. So one six chance, which means it's unlikely to happen. It could, but it's not a very good chance. Second question. What is the probability of rolling a 2 or a 4? Well, I want to drag your attention right up here to this word there. Or. When we're doing probability, or really means and. So this question, number 2, what is the probability of rolling a 2 and a 4? So if we were to look at all the numbers on this die, we have a 1, 2, and 1, 4. So there are two numbers we want it to land on. 2 out of 6, or a 2, 6 chance. 2, again, is not very close to 6, so the word we would use for that would be unlikely. So a 2, 6 chance of rolling a 2 or a 4, and our word would be unlikely. What's the probability of rolling an even number? So we roll this die up here. Our even numbers are 2, 4, 6. Our odd numbers on this die are 1, 3, and 5. So, they're asking about even. There are three evens, but there are six numbers total. So, 3, 6 chance. 3 out of 6. Now, what I do want you to notice is there are three evens, but there are also three odds. This number is equal to the odd number. Even numbers are equal to the odd numbers. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, therefore, we have a three, six chance of landing on even numbers, and it's equally likely because we have the same amount of odd numbers on this die. All right, question four. What is the probability of not rolling a one? Well, when you think about all the numbers on a die, there they are right there. So the numbers that are not ones are two, three, four, five, and six. So that means one, two, three, four, five of my numbers are not a one. So five out of the six numbers on this die right here are not ones. So five, six. Five is very close to six. So, I would say, if we were rolling this die right here and trying not to land on the one, we have a pretty good chance of that happening. So, I would say that is likely. Five six means my probability is likely. What's the probability of rolling a number 1 through 6? Well, all of my numbers are 1 through 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six out of the six numbers, six, six, are one through six. So therefore, it is certain that I would land on a number one through six. What is the probability of rolling an eight? Well, I don't care how many times you roll this die or number cube. You can't land on an eight because there is no eight. My numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, 0, 8 out of 6. 0, 6, which means none. Anytime you have none of what they're asking about, it is impossible for it to happen. Now, 
Let's switch over and let's look at some spinners real quick. All right. Below what you're seeing, these spinners are what we call unfair spinners. There are a couple things that make these spinners unfair. First of all, if you look at the, the spinner in front, this spinner right here is unfair because it has unequal parts. What color would you most likely land on here? If you said you would most likely land on red, you're right, because look at this huge section of red. Which color are you least likely to land on? If you said blue, you're correct, because look at that teeny tiny little piece of blue. Okay, so this spinner, if we were playing a game, that isn't a fair spinner to use for our game, because our, our parts are unequal. All right, when you look at the second spinner and the third spinner, these spinners are not fair spinners or unfair spinners because the colors and their labels repeat. If you take a look at the second spinner, you have two blue sections. So we have a better chance of landing on the blue if we're spinning. See there? Um, when you look at this third spinner, however, we have a one, a one, a one, and then a poor little three all by, uh, excuse me, poor little two all by himself. So we have three ones and only one little bitty two. So which number are we more than likely to land on? We're more than likely to land on a one. So that's why the third spinner is not a fair spinner. All right, let's look at spinners that are fair in just a minute. But before I get off this page here, I want to talk about outcomes. Outcomes are the number of possibilities that could happen. So if you're looking at this first spinner here, there are three outcomes for this spinner. We could land on a red, a blue, or a green. So the first spinner has three outcomes. How many outcomes do you think on the second spinner? If you said three outcomes, you're right, because we have a green, an orange, or we could land on blue. So even though this spinner has four sections, there's only three colors, therefore it's an outcome of three. There's three different things that could happen. You could land on blue, green, or orange. How many outcomes for the third spinner? How many different numbers can you land on? Well, you can either land on a 1 or a 2. So my outcomes for the last spinner is 2. Two outcomes. You can either land on a 1 or a 2. Now, let's take a look at fair spinners. These fence spinners that you see here are all what we call fair spinners. The reason why they're fair is they have equal parts. All these sections are exactly the same size. They are all equivalent pieces. Secondly, no colors or labels repeat. If we're spinning this spinner right here, we have a, a purple, a pink, or orange that we would land on. How many outcomes for the first spinner? If you said three outcomes, you're correct. Take a look at the second spinner. Second spinner has an A, B, C, or D. How many outcomes for this fair spinner? If you said four outcomes, you are correct. You can either land on an A, B, C, or D. How many outcomes on the very last spinner? Wow. If you said five, you are absolutely correct. You can land on a one, two, three, four, or five. That's a list of my outcomes. Now, lastly, we're going to go back to our dice that we started out our lesson with. Okay? So, if we're thinking about a standard die or number cube, again, that's what they're called on probability questions a lot of times, number cubes. So, we're looking at a standard die number cube like this. How many outcomes are on the standard number cube or die? Well, how many different numbers can you land on? If you said 
six, you are correct. There are six different outcomes for this. A one, two, three, four, five, or six. Okay, guys. Um, I hope you had a good time learning about probability today. You should know how to make a fraction for a probability situation. Use the correct word. And you should also be able to count outcomes.